Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amrit and I'm a colorist. I make videos on doing things all here on YouTube. Today we are going to talk about how you can achieve a teal and orange look. I will show you some technique how you can achieve it. It's a very simple step. As you see, I already made a notary. In first node, we are going to apply noise reduction, then exposure settings, then we are going to balance our shot and apply some saturation according to our need and then in this node we are going to apply look then here we are going to separate the skin tones with the help of layer mixer nodes and then here we are going to do few versus options then here we are going to apply a little pop with the help of additive supplies and here we are going to change blue into teal and here we are going to apply glow and sharpness with the help of parallel mixer nodes and here we are going to soft shadows and then vignette and last grain so let's get started firstly add noise reduction this is a very cool feature of davinci resolve studio version I always apply noise reduction in a first node because then later on it will help to keep skins perfectly. Exposure is already set, but as you can see here in waveform, uh, the highlights are a little bit overexposed. Let's get started in offset. Let's go in shadow and pick it up a little bit. Again, from highlight, if you want to do, then you can pick up midtones. Let's see what we made changes here with on and off. A little changes, but when we are going to see in waveform, and there are pretty much changes. Let's go in balance node. For balance, I always set Luma Max to zero. Then here in curves, break the chain and let's go in first of all in red channel. Try to match these channels because the highlights are a little bit you can see here. A little bit drag it down here. So here with the red channel. Let's go in blue. And highlight a little bit down. See here, we have to match that one and add a little saturation. I think this much is good. Let's go in skin node and qualify his skin. See by highlight, we are going to drag, take it as much as you can, and apply denoise. And do it a little bit here. Let's add blur. And because we have so many red in this video, so we have to create a mask around him. And let's add softness. And now let's go into track and track it. Now it looks good. Let's go in the look node and try to apply it to a look. Let's go and offset. Stretch it towards teal. 
is a C our blacks are little bits also off so left take left towards red um in shadow apply a little bit blue so that's okay and in gamma let's add a more bluish rt let's go in here with the saturation here we will settle this one towards more teal let's go in blue select highlight blue and move it a little bit up so we will start notice this and try to take a little bit skin towards yellow let's go in saturation take blue a little bit down and red too let's go in pop enable editable spline click the highlight button and take it little up go further then come back where you find it okay then again it off and let's go in blue and here we are going to make blue to teal as you see how much we make a difference in this node let's go and glow add a glow go in soft light take shine it down make it how much you want lastly go in low soft and try to soften our shadows to give it a little bit of look and as you see our highlights are blown out so let's take it down as we take it down we have to pick it a little bit shadows up and we have to sharpen our video because my reduction softened it a little bit so we have to sharp it later on so i think 46 is good let's add a vignette around him and soft it and invert it go here and take everything down so it looks good and go in our last node and add green I always add my favorite one 35T to a good size and give it a strength that's okay so as you see our skin is not okay yet let's qualify it more as you see by softening a low saturation now it looks more okay to me and that's fine this looks a little bit odd to me so add this part to And in our vignette, let's add another node. Uh, 
uh, outside from the vineyard. And that will be very, a very focused note for, um, on him. And let's add a contrast on him a little bit. And I think that's okay. So let's see, this is how you can achieve a teal and orange look in just a little time. It's a very easy, so you can apply it with this method in such a simple way. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel. Our channel is new. We need your support. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or you can uh, message me on my Instagram. I will give my Instagram link in the description. You can DM me anytime. I will reply you as soon as possible. See you in the next video.